this isn't going to be a long video. I just wanted to kind of throw out some ideas. The last video I made was just to make a point about extending the overhangs. In reality, if you're going to go with a longer overhang, for example, something that might be three foot or longer, you might want to use some posts and beams, and these are going to require footings. And then I will provide you with three different examples for building a porch. If, for example, you're having problems with headroom clearance or other design problems with different pitches, and in the first and the last examples, and the first and the second example will have the same roof pitch or slope and then have our porch rafters sit on top of that board. So the rafters are going to be sitting on top of a beam, structurally supported by a post and a concrete footing. And in this example, I cannot tell you whether or not your roof would be able to support the additional weight. You might need to contact an engineer for that. And in our next example, we can have the rafters sit on top of the wall framing and simply lower the height of the beam. And even though I'm not going to show it in the next example, you're going to need blocking for everything. And you might even need mid-span blocking on rafters that span 10 feet between the bearing points or between the top of the beam and the top of the wall framing. And in our last example, if you need to raise the porch, you need to make it higher. You can add a wall here that will transfer the weight here down to the existing footing. But again, I'm not sure if structural engineering would be required for a project like this. And since we're going to need taller rafters, you might need another backing board here. And of course, I made this angle a little bit steeper. So if extending the roof rafters isn't going to work for you, or it's going to cost too much money, or require larger materials for some reason, then maybe just consider creating a porch area instead of extending the roof overhang. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.